Pastor Sebo, let's start the discussion with the human condition. What is the human condition and why the need for salvation in the first place? Uh, salvation became necessary after the fall of man, after Adam and Eve fell in the garden. Um, and so right from there, the nature of man was uh, contaminated or disturbed. A man is made in the image of God, and the image of God was disturbed. I, I like to use the uh, analogy of a mirror. Uh, if you look into the mirror, you see your image. Um, and so the Bible says God made man in his image, so it's almost like when, when man looks into the mirror, he sees God. When God looks at man, he sees himself. So this is the image, the mirror image. Now I want you to imagine that you have a nice mirror, you look into it, you see your image, and then one day something happens and somebody throws a stone at the mirror and cracks the mirror. The, the, the mirror is still there, but you look into it and what you see is a distorted version of the original image. So you're still the image, but you have been distorted. Something has messed up the image that ne needs fixing. Um, and that is what salvation was. The image of God was messed up and it needed to be put together. It needed to be fixed. And that would necessitate a new image uh, coming into being, which eventually will be Christ. We'll talk about that later. And, and so it is the restoration of the image of God and everything that goes uh, with, um, with the image of God. So the human condition before Christ and outside of Christ is the image of God distorted. 